Hello, welcome to my channel. I was thinking today that I would show you uh, once again how I make my transparent gesso. So it's quite easy. I have an old video with uh, me doing it, but I wanted to make a new one. And you only need glue, water, and some calcium carbonate or powdered marble, I think you call it in, in the US. Um, and you can buy that, what I uh, have heard, I think you can buy that in uh, stores that sell, you know, concrete and stuff. And, uh, but I bought mine in my hobby, local hobby store. So uh, it was called Shock in my store. Um, but I hope you can find it, powdered marble. And it's really nice. So you just mix the glue, the water and the powdered marble, of course. Mix thoroughly so there are no lumps or anything. And I think the consistency is supposed to be like uh, a batter, kind of, for pancakes or something. Yeah, so I'm going to try, uh, try my gesso out a bit. I have made it a lot of times, so I know it works for me. Uh, I just want to show you maybe some differences betwo between adding gesso or no gesso on um, an old moleskin sketchbook. So they have quite um, thick papers, and I like the papers, but they are not really watercolor papers, of course. Uh, the best is, of course, if you have watercolor papers and uh, good quality also. Um, but if you're using an old book or an old notebook or something else, it's really nice to, to have the gesso, I think. So I'm just using my Prima Marketing watercolors here. It's the Classics box. And... Uh, I'm going to add some water and show you how they are, how they are moving on the paper. And you can see the difference, I hope. Because on the left it just doesn't really want to move that much. Uh, but it's easy on the gesso side to reactivate the, the paint. So I'm just drying it a bit and, and then I'm going to add some more of my gesso on the left, no, or not on the left, on the right side paper. Because I'm going to add some more paints on top and of course they behave differently on the different pages. colors are going to mix more on the left side and it's not really that obvious on the yeah I don't know if you can see but you see you get um, kind of a mix and sometimes it just yeah it's just muddy so you don't like that and on the right side it just goes on top of the other color. So when I add blue to the yellow, it kind of gets some greenish and nuance on the left side. So I hope you can see the difference. And I'm just spraying water, I don't know why. And just to show maybe the muddy effect. And I'm gonna make another try. If you want to see the difference. So 
So often when you can maybe you make a collage of different paper scraps uh, in your art journals and uh, then I really prefer to have clear gesso on top to protect the papers a bit and protect the colors from smudging. And here we go again and it doesn't really want to move but no problem with the gesso side as you see <laughs> So I'm not saying that it's always better to have gesso on or under, <laughs> but I uh, just want to show you the difference in effects. So I'm adding another layer of my gesso. It's not really that visible with the green one. I uh, thought it would be more brown, but it was quite alright. I think the colors on the left has uh, they have uh, dried up a bit. But as you can see, there's a difference how they act. And I don't think you can see it here, but the papers are kind of um, crumbling on the left side. You get that, you know, effect when the paper is starting to, I don't know, it's like <laughs> little crumbs of um, paper getting, yeah, I don't like that. And you can get that effect also if you have a a poor quality watercolor paper so uh, that's not a good thing and I'm just adding another transparent layer <laughs> layer of gesso on the right side and just to show I want to try some Posca pens on top and actually I don't see that much of a difference on these because Posca works quite well on watercolors. Um, it would have been different if I maybe used some Distress Crayons or uh, Gelatos or something. Then you can't really write on top of them. Um, you destroy every pen you have. So I don't really want to, to do that here. So um, just that you know that um, uh, if you got um, gelatos or anything and want to write on top then you should add a layer of either transparent gesso or may maybe matte medium uh, or some kind of medium just to protect your pens. I'm just using my Spectrum Sparkle pen here, the purple one, because I want to show how obvious is it, it is uh, the difference when I write with Posca pens on top of that. Um, without or with gesso because I know from experience that my Posca pen just kind of gets sucked in to that color and just disappears kind of if you see here yeah but if I have added gesso you don't get that effect so that's good to know I guess So this is it with the testing and of course you can also use your uh, clear gesso for gluing collage pieces or
papers and I also use it for my decoupaging so it's really nice to have so I really love it and you should try it if you can get a hold of the, the calcium carbonate the powdered marble I hope you can so thank you for watching I hope this was helpful and please like or subscribe and bye